Jared Andretti is committed to carving out his own legacy of success on the racetrack while also carrying his family's famed last name with pride. I caught up with a race car driver on Monday to find out how he plans to set himself apart. First of all, Jared, we want to take the opportunity to welcome you to the Two Man Advantage podcast. We're excited to catch up with you today, and thank you for your time. Well, uh, we're uh, always excited to do uh, first things here on the Two Man Advantage podcast. So I'm, I'm wondering if you can explain to me how important it is for you uh, to come from a racing pedigree and sort of uh, carry on that tradition with your family's uh, name. The pros is you always have people. To, you always have people to lean on. Somebody, they, somebody in my family has done what I what I'm trying to do, or driven the cars that I'm, try, I'm driving at the, at the tracks that I'm driving on. So there's always knowledge to lean on uh, from the driving aspect. And then on, on the business side, they understand the sponsorship relationships. They have previous sponsorship relationships, um, and they they understand how to navigate that side of the business. And you know, and then on the flip side, I mean, I think that you know, sometimes people have expectations that are maybe are a little bit different than what your, you know, your your um, experience level matches. You know, I came into, you know, I haven't raced a long time. I've raced, I've only raced about six years, and so a lot of the things I've been doing have been the first time where people have expected, you know, me to have been racing my entire life. Um, when really I'm just kind of learned. I was learning the basics, you know, the first couple of years, just like anybody else would. But I was doing it at a kind of at a professional level. Um, so I think there's, you know, I think there's pros and cons. I mean, the, the pros far outweigh the cons. Um, for sure, but I think it's it's important to to lean on the knowledge that you have. You use these tools at your service, and to, to try to make you as good as you can. Just you just like you would do in any other you know facet of life or, or any other livelihood. Now, uh, do you feel any undue pressure to lo- live up to your name, and how uh, important it is for you to uh, sort of establish your own legacy legacy as a driver? Now, uh, we talked earlier, and you told me that you were in Indy, uh, taking care of some, uh, taking care of a lot of stuff down there, because you're going to do some racing pri- primarily down there, obviously. So, could you just tell me uh, what the transition's been like for you, and sort of how uh, this season is going for you, and what you've been up to? For me, is I went to college in North Carolina. I grew up in North Carolina, but most of my family is here in Indy. Um, so I think the the big, you know, on the personal side, I think the transition has been um, a little bit different because I, you know, my mom, my sisters, my dog, everybody's back home in North Carolina. But um, you know, all my friends, everybody I've grown up with. But coming to Indiana, I still have you know my aunts and uncles, my grandparents, stuff like that. So I, I get to see them more often than I have before, um, which has been nice. But the trend that's been a little bit different. Um, as far as I can see people that I've seen growing up every day, 
And then for the season, I think we've been running. We've taken a step forward with our program. I mean, in the off season, we, we worked very hard on our cars to get everything ready, set to go uh, for the season. And we had a little bit, a couple of issues in Florida, but we were able to come back, get those sorted. And then we just seem to be, we seem to be moving forward a little bit each week. It's just kind of, it's kind of nice to see a little bit of progress. Um, so I think the, the season's been, it, it's shaping up nicely. We've been getting a lot of rainouts, which has been unfortunate. I think we've had one weekend that was completely knocked out, which is really unheard of. And then last weekend, Saturday and Sunday, got washed out. So hopefully we can get to, you know, get to this, these, more of these race weekends because, as you, you know, it's just like anything else. The more you race, the better you get. And so we try to run as much as we can. Now, could you tell me what do you think is your biggest strength as a race car driver, and what do you think you'll have to work on to improve? Yeah, that, that's kind of a tough question. I don't know if I've ever gotten that one, actually. Um, I, I think that, you know, I need to work on, I think the biggest thing I need to improve on is probably my qualifying. I, I struggled to qualify here in the past, but usually I've had a pretty good qualifying up front. You usually have a pretty good night because you can race, you can, you're racing with the good guys. You're learning more up there, um, and you have less guys to pass. The, the, the competition is so tight, like those sprint cars, it, it's difficult to pass. You know, if you start 15th, it's difficult to pass 10 guys to get up in the top five. You know, you're, you're passing multiple time feature winners to get to that point. So it's, it's difficult to do that. So um, qualifying for sure is something I need to work on. Uh, I think I think my race craft I've, I've gotten I've gotten better at, and um, I still need to work on that as well. That's one of my strengths. So I think once we get uh, once we get racing into a longer feature, I think that that's, um, I think, you know, you got to be able to adapt and, um, you know, I think I've gotten a lot better at that over the past couple of years. Just the experience really helps with that. And tell me, what do you think is the biggest misconception about race car drivers that you think uh, people don't understand or what would you want people to know about the sport? My final question for you just has to do with uh, what type of goals do you have for yourself for the rest of this season? I think just gradually improve. I think just seeing steady progress is, is something that we want to do, and we want to, um, you know, we want to we're going to race a lot of Lawrenceburg. We'd like to, you know, we like to win everywhere, but I really like Lawrenceburg, um, and you know, we're going to run Kokomo a lot as well as Bloomington. So I think getting better at those tracks and having a good showing at any in a spring week where we can, you know, we've gone to those tracks multiple times, hopefully before spring week, so we can show up, have a, have a good program, I know what we're supposed to do, and, and kind of have a good run those weekends, so um, that's kind of the ultimate, that's the goal, and then and it's just, you know, run as good as you can, I think constant improvement is all, is all you can really ask for. Well, Jared, I know you're super busy with all you've got going on. We want to wish you the best of luck with all of your endeavors, and thanks for a couple, a couple of minutes on the Two Man Advantage podcast. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.